Hi. Slew is kind of an odd word. In the morning I had gazed upon a slew of birds whose beauty I was amazed. And the night slew the mighty dragon broodmother. Slewing through turn number seven, Carlos Saints takes the lead again. Well, slew in FS2020 would be most closely related to the rally car slewing around the track. The use of the word in the context that FS2020 uses it is actually kind of unique to Microsoft Flight Simulators. It's a feature that's been in previous versions of the sim. You can simulate it in X-Plane 11 or use a plugin, but it's really kind of a Microsoft thing. Essentially, what it's for is to allow you to rapidly reposition your aircraft in the world. It doesn't mean you'd use it to move your aircraft across the Pacific Ocean from California to Japan, per se. Uh, you could do this, but even with the rapid movement of slewing the aircraft, it would take many hours to get across the ocean like this. You could use it to find out what the top of the skybox and the sim is like at the edge of space and see the curvature of the Earth. Take that, flat earthers. Even doing that takes quite a while to get to that altitude with SLU. More commonly, it's used for things like letting you reposition the aircraft so that you can make another attempt at landing, or for checking out a route that you want to fly to get a better feel for what you'll be flying over or just reduce the time that a flight will take. For example, I might want to recreate a flight that I did in real life a few years ago where I flew from El Monte Airport in El Monte, California. It's called San Gabriel Valley Airport now. I flew out to Santa Paula Airport in a Rockwell Commander 114. It's about a 65 mile flight across the LA basin out to a little farm town. The Commander cruises at about 158 knots. I'll use the Diamond DA-62 and cruise at 158 knots to match the Rockwell, so that gives us an approximate flight time of about 24 minutes without accounting for wind. I might not want to spend that time in the sim at straight and level flight. I'd prefer to do the takeoff and get the aircraft straight and level on course, then quickly move to my destination so I can start my approach and land and get my $100 burger. In this instance, I can use SLU to move the aircraft across the flight path towards the destination very quickly. At any time, I can resume my flight or just stop and have a look around. The addition of the showcase and drone camera in this sim is ideal for doing this sort of thing. Another example might be, let's say I wanted to have a look at Mount Rainier up in Washington State and admire the majesty and beauty of that location. Once I'm sick of looking at it, I might want to head over to Seattle to have a look at the Space Needle. It's about 75 miles northwest of Mount Rainier in the lower Queen Anne district of Seattle. So I can use SLU to rapidly reposition over to that area and resume my flight. Doing this kind of movement in the sim can be hard to navigate by dead reckoning, so using a tool like VFR maps can be a big help in orienting the aircraft towards the destination and then slewing there. There's a link in the description to this video about how to obtain and use the free VFR map tool. Additionally, there's no collision detection while slewing. Your aircraft will move through the world's geometry as if it's not there. Since you're moving very quickly in the world, you'll find the sim may struggle to keep up in terms of loading textures into the sim. So, after moving a distance, just pause for a moment and let the sim catch up loading the textures and everything should look as it should. To activate SLU at any time, press Y. The camera view moves to an external view of the aircraft with the HUD displayed. It's useful to have the HUD display while slewing so that you can monitor your altitude, etc. SLU acts as a kind of pause as well, but in reality the sim is not truly paused. Events still transpire and the clock is still running while you're in SLU mode. 
If you're looking for a better pause, I've linked to my video in the description to show you how to implement that. SLU freezes the aircraft in place and allows you to move the aircraft in the world very quickly. A more interactive method of controlling SLU is best done with a control stick or a video game console controller such as the Xbox or PS4 controllers. I'll demonstrate using the default keyboard assignments for SLU throughout this video and you'll find a list of those keyboard assignments in the description as well. SLU is perfectly usable with the keyboard. As stated previously, you activate or deactivate SLU with Y. If you look at lists of the keyboard controls in the sim or online, they'll occasionally use the word translate and what that means is to move. That's it. If it says translate up, it means move up. Okay, with that little definition out of the way, I want to look at the actual key commands in the sim. We need to add one to help with using SLU that's not assigned by default. And that is the reset SLU function so that you can reset the position of the aircraft back to its default heading and orientation as it was when you first entered SLU mode. From the main menu, go to options and then controls. Make sure you have the keyboard selected, not the mouse or controller. Set the filter to all so that we can see unassigned commands. Use the expand collapse all option to close up the menu a bit. Click on cameras and then SLU at the top here. We scroll down and find the reset SLU command. I've assigned mine to Alt Y since that was a free assignment and related to the original slewing command, but obviously you can change it to whatever suits you. This reset is particularly useful if you're just previewing a route that you intend to fly. Once you're done previewing it with SLU, you can use the reset command to return to your original heading and orientation in a snap. Within the slewing system, we can position the aircraft however we see fit, move up with F3 or F4 for slow or fast ascent, down with the A or F1 for slow or fast descent, we can freeze Y or X axis slewing with F2 or numeric keypad 5 respectively. Backwards and forwards with the 2 or the 8 on the numeric keypad. Roll is controlled with 7 and 9 on the keypad. When you roll with 7 or 9, once you hit one of them, let's say we'll roll to the left here, It'll continue to move in that direction until you counter that movement with the opposite direction. So I have to hit nine to make it stop rolling here. Yaw left and right with one and three on the numeric keypad. Move laterally left and right with keypad four and six respectively and so on. You can look at the description of this video to check all of the available commands, but there are a few more in the options that are unassigned yet you can also play around with, so make sure to check those out. SLU is a very useful tool. Don't be afraid to hit Y and check it out for yourself. I hope this video helps someone out there, and that's it for this video. Until the next video, take care.